you off Claude, you're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Full Reviews. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? First things first, before we get started with today's video, let me ask y'all just one quick question to make sure we're all vibing on the same wavelength, right? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Foodie fan, friends, followers, and everybody in the middle. My name is Claude. The channel is Mostly Healthy Food Reviews where I actually go to a bunch of different places and I try to review and check out foods that you may want to look into yourself. But in either case, I always give y'all 100% realism. I don't bite my tongue, I get straight to it. I stand on that 10 toes down. Also, keep in mind that I'm on a platform called Ask Me. And it's a website basically that allows you to ask me any questions you might wanna ask me, good, bad, or indifferent. Just keep it respectful, you know what I'm saying? But it's a website that allows me to continue to be interactive with my channel and my platform. So if you have anything you've ever wanted to ask me, feel free to ask me and I'll get right back to you. Today, I'm in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I just pulled up to Taco Bell because of this particular item that I'm interested in. What item is that, Claude? Well, to be honest with you, Taco Bell actually has a cantina chicken bowl. Now, when you say cantina, you think of spices like onions and stuff, and the, it's kind of spicy. You get chilies in it and stuff. So hopefully this thing is gonna be good. And they got a whole cantina menu, a bunch of different stuff that they're offering, but I decided to try the bowl. Here's why. It has slow cooked cantina chicken. It has seasoned rice, black beans, Iceberg lettuce, threaded purple cabbage. There's an avocado ranch sauce kind of thing it got going on. Also get reduced fat sour cream, guacamole. Mole, 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 mole. <laughs> pico de gallo. I like pico. Pica, pica. Threaded cheddar cheese. What I'm gonna do on top of it when I get it is I'm actually gonna get not one, but two packets of their new avocado salsa verde sauce. Sounds good, but is it? Taco Bell, I'm about to go to y'all drive through right now and do what I do. Mostly healthy food reviews. Let's get started.
right, y'all. So that was Taco Bell's Cantina Chicken Bowl. The bowl itself cost $8.99. Um, I ordered or actually got two of the avocado little sauces they come with. Or you can get regular sauce if you want. But I got two. Each one was 20 cents. So it was 40 cents additional. With tax and everything you guys saw the receipt, it was like $10 and change. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is probably the best $10 I'm going to spend on food all day. It is. And Taco Bell, I'm proud of you guys. I am. Here's why. Throughout time and space, every time I've come to Taco Bell, I would get snack size items, right? I would get stuff that at times, especially late night, is hit or miss. Meaning that my order might get messed up or they may put beef on my taco instead of chicken like I always ask for. So I wasn't really expecting much on this bowl today. However, the bowl looked good. Had a lot of ingredients that I'm interested in and I felt that it was more of a healthier option than going with regular burritos or whatever else they usually put together. I got cabbage on this. I got black beans. I got shredded cheese. I got lettuce. I got the roasted chicken, the cantina flavored roasted chicken. And then the sauce, the, the guacamole, the fat free, I think it's fat free, sour cream. And, and it was good. Everything was extremely fresh. I came down about 11 o'clock in the morning, and that's usually when I come down to get my food because it's usually fresher as soon as they start doing lunch. I liked it a lot. I did. I'd get it again. I'd actually tell you to check it out. Now, I don't know, Taco Bell, this is a limited time offer only or if it's going to be on you guys' menu. My suggestion, keep it on the menu. It was a banger. It honestly was. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to hold y'all. My score for the Cantina Chicken Bowl from Taco Bell, I'm going with a 9 out of 10, baby. 9 out of 10, because truthfully, it slapped. It was slap-tastic. It was slap-happy. And it actually made me feel good. And true, there might be high levels of sodium in this, especially with the beans and all the seasonings and the chicken and stuff and the cheese. I get it, guys. But if you're actually watching your intake, this would actually be considered a healthier option, I think, than a lot of other stuff that you would get on the Taco Bell menu. So for that alone, I'm going with a 9 out of 10. That's what it is, y'all. Loved it, and loved it, loved it. If you've had the bowl or anything on the cantina menu, let me know what y'all think, and if you get it again, or if you recommend it to each other. That's how we do it around these parts. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the videos, do me a favor, click subscribe, turn notification on, that way you get them when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, during the week as time permits, like a Wednesday, roughly Thursday, it is what it is. Once again, I'm back, baby. Like I never left. You can catch me on all social media, from YouTube to TikTok to Instagram to everywhere. I'm, I'm everywhere. They're never there. I'm never scared. Give y'all that real review. That's what it is. Let me get up out of here. Taco Bell, good job. Definitely appreciated y'all. Enjoy your Easter with your friends, family, and loved ones. A very important holiday and hopefully everybody gets to enjoy it the way it was meant to be enjoyed. In either case, let me get up out of here. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.